What's going on everybody? I hope you're all well and welcome back to Dragon Age Awakening. Now over the last few episodes we did get a lot done. We got a brand new companion, we got Seagrin of the Legion of the Dead, soon to be of the Grey Wardens as well. We completely killed, cleared out Cal Haral. We took care of the brood mother infection down here. They're all very, very dead thanks to that lyrium explosion we dropped on them. So that takes care of this little crevice in the earth. Darkspawn crisis averted. Now it is time to head on back to Vigil's Keep. We got a brand new merchant we haven't talked to yet on top of that, so the room just to turn in. We gotta check on the rebuilding of the walls and the clearing of the basement, and we gotta get Sigrun through her joining, so let's head on back. We also have plenty of gifts to turn in. Probably chat to our companions a little too while we're down here. Hopefully Agrin can resist flirting with her constantly. <laughs> she's not here for a spouse, she's here to kill Darkspawn for us. Herald lost, lost is lost, 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 lost. Mother, be calm. Calm, yes. Once I was calm. Once mother listened to the beautiful call, felt it wash over her and inside her, and she was calm. But now there is no calm. The father took that away. And now he takes away Cal Hirol. My poor pets in Cal Hirol. The father knew I would send them against him. The father feared. <laughs> Cal Hirol is gone. But the mother still has her tricks. Many, many tricks. But what will the mother do? Do? I will laugh! <laughs> and then I will wait. And I believe that is our first look at what happens when a human becomes a brood mother. I don't believe that used to be a dwarf, I believe that used to be a human. Now we have quest markers all over the place, including the dwarf building our wall for us. So tell me, Valdrick, how's it going? Warden, I... I did warn you about the stone in these parts. Human masons will use whatever's at hand, but for proper walls, you need proper stone. I'm inclined to agree, obviously. Go on. The nearest quarry has some miserable slate nonsense. I need proper granite. The darker the better. I don't suppose, you know, in your travels. If I find you this granite, will this be the end of it? Aye, certainly. Well, probably certainly. Well then, probably certainly, I will keep an eye out for that. I'll be here. Don't tarry too long. Got a wall to rebuild. Indeed, Slay certainly won't be cutting the cake for everything that we have to do here, so we are definitely going to go take care of that. Now these chests seem to have restocked. I'll take the new XP for sure. <laughs> Never turn down chunks of 40 experience. Grey Warden Longsword and some scale gloves in there. Now Lilith would be our new merchant. Also have a new something something for Master Wade to mess with. What's going on, Lilith? Do you remember me? The merchant from the road. I I've do made indeed. A deal with your mistress Wolsey to provide some new stock for the other merchants here. Make her bless you, sir. That is very good of you. Glad we saved her along the road. You're back. You need anything? I found an ore deposit. Oh, this will help a great deal. This is iron. Very high quality. Armor and weapons could be made with this. I'll just get to it then. No one appreciates. Don't be too sad, Master Wade. We do have something for you as well. You're back. You need anything? I would like to look at your shop. Oh, of course. Uh, we we'll cleaned up a little bit. Now, Master Wade. Good news. Psst. Warden. You want to talk with me? Haran is content to let me craft away in obscurity under dreadful conditions. They don't seem Never that dreadful. Care for the art. The art of crafting. But you, you're not so dreadfully common. I certainly appreciate fine weapons and armor. Exactly. I want to make wondrous things, things a dwarf and craftsman would appreciate. 
If you come across any fantastical materials, could you perhaps visit old Wade? Wade, what are you about? And nothing, Heron. We're just discussing. We're just discussing the weather up here in Southern Ferelden. A master's work. Yes, Commander. I found this golem shell in Cal Harol. Oh, I simply must do something with this. So unique, so rare. Yes, a breastplate. Here, take this. These are a few knickknacks. I need to begin my work. Find them soon. I simply cannot wait. Of course, it's not so simple in this game as just handing him a piece. So we need wool pattern. We need a master lyrium potion, pure iron, and blood lotus. I don't believe we have those yes, things. Commander? We do not. So, if we grab those in our travels, we'll come back and deal with him. But if we don't, I'm not going to press the issue too much. You arranged for quite the welcome for us, didn't you, Commander? Not that I mind. <laughs> Gave me a chance to do some proper testing. <laughs> you seem a little... interesting. <laughs> testing of what? Explosives! The name is Dworkin Glavenok. Some call me Dworkin the Mad. That don't ruffle my beard, though. <laughs> have to be a little mad in my line of research. <laughs> I'm sure. Did you invent these explosives? I developed these particular formulations. But it's the Kunari who perfected the art. That just gets in my craw. Sullen, ashen-skinned giants shouldn't be allowed to outsmart dwarves. So, I've been conducting experiments on lyrium sand and other volatile ingredients. You remember a couple episodes ago when I said genius is often on the other side of the coin of madness? <laughs> I wasn't expecting dwarves at the vigil. King Harrowmont has a long memory for those who've helped him. The king figured the least he could do was send a few mad dwarves the warden's way. <laughs> right. <laughs> we'll talk later. Don't blow yourself up. I'll be careful. Careful-ish. Now I do want to talk to you again. Oh, you're back to visit old Dworkin? I am. I have some interesting things for you. I found this tablet in Cal Harol. Could you look at it? Aye, Commander. Baldric, come over here. Well, I'll be. We need to send this home, brother. Orzammar must know how the Castless of Cal Harol acquitted themselves in their final hours. Castless bearing arms. Oh, that'll go over well. Those Castless are heroes. It must be recorded by the Shaperet. Thank you, Commander. We'll see this is delivered into the right hands. I'm glad. Their actions were certainly worthy of note. Oh, you're back to visit old Dworkin? I am. Your line of work sounds dangerous. Very dangerous. Aye. Aye. And that it is. Lost a cousin to it. And some apprentices. But a stable formula would put a mess of herd on the dark spawn. Let us retake some of our lost tigs. Is there any way I can help? If you got a mind to, aye. We used up all the explosives on those dark spawn. I can make more, but I'm out of lyrium sand. Lyrium dust is all over the place, but that's too fine. Dust's good for fuses, but not the boom I'm looking for. With real lyrium sand, I can set the lads to work. Well, we actually found two stacks of lyrium sand down in Cal Harol, so you're in luck. I found some lyrium sand. Wonderful. We can start making more explosives. Warden, before you let my brother blow himself to little bitsies, tell him to be careful. Don't listen to Foldrick. I know what I'm about. And how many apprentices have you lost? Three? No, four? We'll know the risks. If we succeed, our names will go down in history. And if you don't, you'll blow vigils keep to smithereens, so... <laughs> Your brother is right. You're no use to anybody dead. Fine. We'll be safe. Happy now, Baldrick. Thanks for your help. Please, take these. Use them to give those beasties a what for. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, indeed. Now, I wonder if... Did we give you both stacks, or can I give you more? Oh, you're back to visit old Dworkin? Okay. I'll be careful. careful. He did give him both stacks. Now, I am very interested in him developing explosives for us to fight Darkspawn with, so I'm not going to discourage that. I'm just going to tell him to be safe. What's it like? Seneschal Veril has been looking for you. Please go to the throne room. Are there any messages for me? Just give me a moment. 
there is okay so we have a day in court here we'll go take care of that and then it seems like the basement has also been taken care of so we'll go down to that at some point too A day of call it sounds like is going to be some kind of all duties we have to take care of here. We haven't done much in the way of ruling yet, so it's hardly surprising that this kind of thing would come up. Hey, Commander, we need to talk. Of course, Ogren. Dreams, you get them. Uh, this is a Grey Warden thing, huh? Why didn't anyone tell me? I apologize. I should have warned you. In my dream, I saw one of those bloated, vomit-smeared brood mothers, and it had Hespeth's face. You remember oh. Hespeth, don't you? <laughs> Bronca was there and whispered, it's time. And Hespeth screamed and a thousand darkspawn burst from her. It sounds like you had a regular nightmare, not a warden dream. That's strange. You're telling me. Then the darkspawn surrounded me and started talking, asking me if I would like lemon in my tea. And could I please teach them to read and write? And then one of them kept repeating, where's the baby? And <laughs> that's when I woke up. Where's the baby is very interesting. Um, I think you've got too much on your mind. <laughs> Usually they accuse me of the opposite. Thanks for <laughs> listening, Commander. Anytime, Ogren. You let me know if I can help you with any of that whatever is going on with that <laughs> all right what do we have over here we have a bookshelf wow i've never seen so many books in my life they're all at your disposal this one's a navar and romance pretty spicy too from the looks of it what's an antivan milk sandwich Oh. Oh, I see. I'll just put that back. I don't even want to know what an Antivan milk sandwich is. I've only is. read one book. My friend Varlin taught me while we were in the Legion. He only had the one. He's dead now. Well, you're certainly welcome to any of these books. Tell me about him. He was a noble, once. From House Volney. I don't know why he ended up in the Legion. He wouldn't say. I saw death take my friends. Knowing it would take him as well. I fought hard to keep us both alive. Varlin embraced the Legion's philosophy. That we were already dead. I couldn't let go like that. I believe we met somebody from House Volney during the Proving Games and back in Ozimar, so... It's nice to hear a familiar name. That's why you're the last of the Legion. Survival. That's what matters. That's what Dusttown taught me. Oh, if I'm going to get through all these books before the Darkspawn find me, I need to get started. So Sigrun started as a Castless. She's not of noble house. Again, the Castless is the way that most of the downtrodden inside Ozamar end up climbing out of poverty as they join the Legion. Should we get a move on? Soon, not just yet. I don't think we should dally here. Indeed. Right, now it's time, I think... To, hmm, should we do the companion gifts first, or do we want to make Sigrun a warden first? Let's let's put her through the joining first. We'll make sure she actually is going to survive before we start giving her gifts. All rise. The warden commander and liege lord of all Amaranthine enters. I've held it off as long as I could, but you hold the right of high justice on your land. Certain matters of court must be decided. Anything I should know before we proceed? By custom, the claimants make their case to you. I'll advise you after, then you rule. The Seneschal of the Vigil can hold court as well, if the Isle commands it. Okay. Let's begin. Be seated. The Warden Commander will first hear the matter of the Crown against the Sheepherder Alec. On behalf of the Crown, I submit that Alec stole two bushels of grain bound for the garrison in Amaranthine. When confronted by soldiers, he confessed. The punishment for theft from the crown is death by hanging. What say you, Alec? My sheep were slaughtered by the darkspawn. My fam my family was starving. I asked for mercy. Commander, mercy. The poor bugger. Had he stolen from anyone besides the crown, he'd escape with a flogging. Well, we're certainly not going to hang him for stealing grain for his starving family. 
blogging him seems again I'd, it's a little it's hard to justify punishing him in such a time where all he did was steal food for his family he's just like Barrel just said here he's just unfortunate that he decided to steal from the crown instead of somebody else so instead of all these things I do think the land could always use another soldier and it's the best of both worlds he won't be punished his life will be spared and his family will be fed join the army Thank you. Thank you. The next matter is of a civil nature. Lady Liza Pacton is the sovereign of Tern's Down. She... I prefer to speak for myself. The old Earl Rendon Howe made certain promises to me. Some of these he committed to paper. I was given the right to the incomes of the Southern Bridge. And what part did you take in Howe's conspiracies, eh, Liza? To get such a fruitful prize. I am Sir Darren, and it is my land she seeks. Taken from me because I was one of the few nobles who stood against Turn Logan. Commander, Sir Darren is an ally, and Amaranthine has precious few who support you wholeheartedly. If there's any hope of persuading more nobles to your cause, you must be fair minded. I am indeed fair minded. Now, no document that is written by Al Howe has any legitimacy at all. Now, we're not gonna <laughs> we're not gonna be doing any of this. I'm not going to be stripping anybody of land that I'll have promised to somebody else. And like he said, he lost it unfairly. He stood against Loghain after he usurped the throne and took the country. For that, he was stripped of his land by Loghain's right-hand lackey, Al Howe. He's not losing his holding. Al Howe was a traitor. And the fact that she threw her line with Howe and Loghain means that she is a traitor too. We're certainly not punishing anybody on behalf of Loghain or Howe. Al Howe is a traitor. The Darren keeps his holding Van Esmerel will hear of this. I hope she the does. The commander has spoken. The matter is resolved. Bring in Sir Temele the Ox. Sir Temele stands accused of a murder most foul. You and your men came upon Sir Tamra in the dead of night and did cravenly ambush her. You dare too much, Captain Garavel. I am noble-born and will not submit to your accusations you are accused of murder sir my soldiers found you fleeing while sir tamra's blood was still hot there's a great deal of traffic on the roads not all of it human and it's so dangerous at night we were merely in a hurry to reach a nice safe place you mock this court with your denials you have nothing captain release me commander it's this common lout's word against mine you will recall Sir Tamra as the knight who warned us against the conspiracy. Sir Temele was a confederate of Al Hal. Right. So, it seems this guy isn't even denying it. He's just <laughs> the smug look on his face. He thinks he's untouchable because he's highborn. Unfortunately for him, I'm not Al Hal. So, his highborn status means nothing to me here. Now, Sir Tamra was going to warn us of a conspiracy. She was fetching documents for us, documents that now. Of great convenience to the rest of this call will never be reaching my hands because this good knight, who is directly involved with Howe, snuffed her out, caught fleeing in the middle of the night. Could he be innocent? If he's innocent, I'm the Empress of Orlais. But it's possible, I suppose. Mm, that's all I need to know, really. What would happen if we executed him? There'd be some outrage. There's no love for the Ox, but he's a noble. With such scant evidence. But you are within your rights to execute him. The conspiracy is real, and they claimed their first victim. I fear you're correct. Is there really no more evidence against him? Only some blood on their clothes. A sadly common sight on travelers these days. Besides that, nothing. The captain looked into the matter thoroughly. Okay, so they had blood on their clothes, too. Not only were they fleeing the premises in the dead of night, they also had blood on their hands. That's enough for me. What is your will? If he didn't want to die, he should have defended himself more thoroughly. A lady knight is dead. It will be justice. Behead him. But... You can't. Want to bet? Oh, but the commander very much can. This session of the Arling's court is over. And make her help me. I hope the next one is easier than this. Yeah, we won't be having nobles murdering innocent people and gallivanting around the land because they think they're untouchable. We won't be doing that. Commander, 
Not in my album. Another wishes to undertake the joining. Oh, I hope they fare better than Sir Myrin. Me too. I'll make the preparations. From this moment forth, Sigrun, you are a Grey Warden. Then let it be. You chose her well, Commander. She will wake shortly. And that's another Grey Warden added to our ranks. Very good. Right, now that she's a Warden and we took care of our little holy intrigue, we can finally start handing out some of these gifts. And I believe we already had a decent amount for Sigrun. I do remember one thing. I believe the soap on a rope is for Sigrun, so... It's a nice plus 10. Wow. I'm sure she's not used to being very clean down there in the deep roads. Now, we also have a book here called The Warrior's Heart. We know Sigrun is kind of fond on reading and books from our little cutscene earlier. So, would you like this book? For me? Oh, wow. You would. That's a plus 9. Right. Now, what else do we have? Lava Burst is obviously for Ogryn. The Whetstone is not going to be for her. We have a Lyrium Ring, Gold Bar, Engraved Silver Braces. I think for now, that's it for her. Of course, like I said, the Lava Burst is obviously for Ogren. He's a very thirsty companion. Despite all the alcohol we've given him throughout the games. That looks fine indeed. Indeed it does. Right. We have no more alcohol. I'm going to assume this bell collar would be for Anders. For the cat. You shouldn't have. Indeed. Uh, he seems like he kind of likes jewelry with his earrings and... The rest of the stuff that we've given him so far. So, just following that logic, I assume you would like engraved silver braces. It would make sense to me. You shouldn't have. Plus well, seven. Now, lyrium ring. I don't think he would like that because he's a mage. What else do we have down here? I think that might be it for you. Nathaniel, do we have anything you would perhaps like? So. Oh. We have a whetstone. Would you like a whetstone? It did say when we read his thing that he likes practical things, right? This is nice. He did like the whetstone, okay. And do we have anything else that's practical? The maps and dreams and carved green stones, but they're like baubles. I'm not sure that he would like the baubles. Okay. That'll do for now. We got plenty of upgrades for people, as you can see. Lots of inspiration. Now that we leveled up their inspiration, let's see if they have any more conversation for us. Should we get a move on? You don't. What about you, Nathaniel? Now is not the best time to talk. Ogren, do you have anything to say? Yeah, you are gonna pay me, right? For all that arse whipping I do for you. <laughs> you get a stipend if the nobles pay their dues. A stipend? Yeah, <laughs> that's good. Yeah. What's a stipend? <laughs> it's the money we pay you. Money? Ha! Now there's a word I understand. What an arrangement. You feed me and I get to take my frustrations out on the dark spawn. <laughs> yeah, we anyway, all are quite privileged. Can I have a pony? You want a pony? You're serious, aren't you? Nah, it's okay. I know you think I'm... I'm just... Bronca used to collect these little, little horse statues back when, back, whoa, everything's spinning. And you're very shiny. Oh, gonna go sit down now. Now, I know in general we are feeding him alcohol, but I would like to get the opportunity to make him calm down on the alcohol a little at some point. It's much easier fighting Darkspawn on the surface. On a clear day, you can see for leagues. I once heard about a contraption known as a... Hmm... A spyglass, I think it is called. My friend Barlin said they let you see distant enemies as though they were right beside you. Is that true? It sounds like magic. It's not magic. It's optics. Optics? Well, it may as well be magic. In the Deep Roads, the Darkspawn can appear from nowhere. A spyglass sounds the very opposite. Someday, while I'm still on the surface, I would like to look through one. 
we will certainly get that and make that happen for you if we run across one. Now, all of that being done, I wonder... Commander. Report on the situation in the Arling. The soldiers are doing their best to defend the city of Amaranthine. Master Wade has been at the forge night and day. New arms will make our soldiers much more effective, sir. The Darkspawn are attacking some of the outlying settlements in large groups. The common folk are getting scared, Commander. Farewell. Good day, Commander. Do we have anything new from Mistress Wolsey? I'm here to serve, Commander. Why so up? We do not. Very well, Commander. Right, now, all of that being taken care of, we've turned in our gifts, we dealt with our first piece of quality intrigue. I think I'm going to wrap it up here and then get on with another Codex episode. We did pick up plenty of things to read, so thanks for watching, everybody. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe, leave a like and a comment. If you want to support the cause and help improve the channel, there is a tip link in the description below. Otherwise, stay tuned, and I'll see you soon with more Dragon Age Awakening. Take care, everybody. Have a great day.